What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? Happy Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. I actually think I might make some tacos tonight. I got some chicken. I got some beef. Some steaks. Might get the air fryer popping. Do the damn thing with some tacos. <laughs> anyway, this Covington uh, Catholic school kids... Story is not going away. Of course, I'm going to juice it. Screw it. Damn it. Whatever. Now, Twitter suspends the account that helped ignite the controversy. <laughs> Ain't this something you can get suspended for memes now? <laughs> like, that person didn't start the controversy. The mass media did. They have the duty to fact check it, double fact check it. Matter of fact, just from looking at the video, I'm not sure where you got the conclusion that these kids were harassing this Indian man. I saw the same video y'all saw. But y'all saw the video with a narrative and you ran with it. Now you want to go, oh, hey, Jack, man, we need some cover, you know, because this makes us look like fake news. Um, can you assist, can you look at who started it? And here they go. And y'all going to believe this crap, man. I, I, I can't even. It's outrageous. Twitter suspended an account on Monday afternoon to help spread a controversial encounter against a Native American elder and a group of high school students wearing Make America Great Again hats. The account claimed to be a California school teacher. His profile photo was not of a school teacher. <laughs> like, like do you, if you're a school teacher, do you have to dress up in your school teacher clothes, man? <laughs> like, come on. Like, really? <laughs> the account with the username 2020 fight was set up in December 2016. It appeared to be the tweets of a woman named Talia living in California, teacher and advocate fighting for 2020, it's bio red. Since the beginning of this year, the account had average, tweeted on average 130 times a day and had more than 40,000 followers. Late on Friday, the account posted a minute long video showing the now iconic confrontation between, <laughs> iconic. <laughs> it, it, how is it iconic if the situation wasn't how it uh, described? Y'all say it was a verbal confrontation and all that. It was nothing of the sort. Between a Native American elder and a high school, high school students with the caption, the MAGA loser gleefully bothering a North American protester, Native American protester at the Indigenous People's March. The version of the video was viewed at least 2.5 million times and was tweeted at least 14,000 times according to a cash version of the tweet seen by CNN Business. The video, video shared by 2020 Fight did not show what preceded the confrontation between a Native American elder and the high school students. So so when uh, people say, you know, when, when they have these cop shootings and stuff like that, and they just show the, 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 the shooting, like when people say, "Hey, man, can we see it? What ha what led up to this?" And people are like, "Oh, man, that don't matter." And people cut that right out. But now you're saying we should see the whole thing, <laughs> even though I, I'm still perplexed. Like, how did anybody see it? As you know, I seen it how it was from the beginning. He was the Indian boy was just banging the drum in his face. <laughs> like, I mean, come on. Um, the video had been posted earlier on Instagram by someone who was at the event, but it was 2020's fight caption that helped frame the news cycle. See, these are two different videos. It's not like the 2020 person found the long video and cut it just for that. The person on Instagram did that. Or the person on Instagram ha had the, the short version of this. And they kind of took it from the Instagram post. But it was 2020's fight caption to help frame the news, arts, news cycle. Well, 
why are you taking captions from uh, Twitter users that you don't even know and helping that drive the new, frame in the news cycle? Mainstream media again did that. Multiple newsrooms, including some national American outlets, reached out to the user asking them directly about the video. Uh, they found the account suspicious due to high follower account, high follower account, highly polarized and yet inconsistent political messaging, unusual high rate of tweets and use of someone else's image in the profile photo. Later realized that a network and anonymous. See, this, look, listen how the, the mainstream media is trying to clean themselves up, man. Now they're gonna blame it. On anonymous accounts and stuff like that. Y'all did this. Not the anonymous accounts. Now I see everybody that was that's S E Coop, S E Keep, Cop, Cup, whatever. A nice looking Paul out there on, on the uh, I think she's on CNN. <laughs> she even tweeted out an apology today. Like, come the hell on, man. How are y'all? My thing is, I seen the same video. There was plenty of people that saw the same short video. It did not come to y'all com that conclusion y'all came with. Y'all came predetermined with that conclusion because that's what y'all wanted to happen. And you got nerd to blame some fuck. This is this is Russia uh, bots all over again. <laughs> God damn! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Unbelievable. This Uncle Hotep, Hotep's been told you every Thursday, Uncle Hotep fact, Factor every Sunday. Please donate Patreon, PayPal if you can. Um, buy a t-shirt, store envy shit, um, store envy link below. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.